Spurs have their first summer signing. Pierre-Emil Hoybier signs from Southampton on a five-year deal. Tottenham's pre-season fixtures have been revealed ahead of the 2020-2021 season. Carl Walker-Peters has left Tottenham for Southampton. Newcastle are interested in taking Ryan Sessegnon on loan. A former Spurs star states that Jose Mourinho is shuffling his pack and believes that quite a few players will leave the club this summer and a new three-year deal for a Spurs defender. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today is Tuesday, the 11th of August. I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports from the last 24 hours. It's official. Spurs have their first summer signing. Pierre-Emil Hoybier signs for Tottenham Hotspur. The announcement states, we are delighted to announce the signing of Pierre-Emil Hoybier from Southampton. The midfielder has signed a contract with the club until 2025 and will wear the number five shirt. Hoybier, who turned 25 last week, made a total of 128 appearances and scored five goals during his four-year spell at Southampton, having joined them from Bayern Munich back in 2016. He made his move to the Premier League with Southampton in 2016, helping them to the EFL Cup final in his first season and was named as club captain in December 2018. On the international stage, Hoybier has collected 33 caps for Denmark to date, with his debut coming as an 18-year-old in their 1-0 win over Sweden in May 2014. In a short interview that the club have put out so far, he said, I think there's a fantastic future ahead for the club and I wanted so much to be a part of that. It really does show because in recent weeks and in recent months, there has been so much speculation um, about him joining Tottenham from Southampton. He has been liking social media tweets um, about Jose Mourinho, about uh, Tottenham's future and about him joining the club. So he is very, very happy to be at the club right now. In an exclusive interview with Tottenham Hotspur Football Club, Pierre-Emil Hoybier said, I'm very proud, very happy. I'm also very excited to be here. I just want to get going, meet everyone and play football. He then went on to say, I like to bring energy. I like to bring wins, hopefully. I just think you get me 100%. I like to be the best player I can and I like to make people better. I like to make the team better and I think it's important to be aware of what your role is, who you're playing against and what is demanded from you. Many of the small details go into one big important thing. From the first moment I got to speak to the people at the club, the coach, I think it is very clear to me that Spurs is a very big club, but also a club with even more potential to reach the ultimate. And I wanted so much to be a part of that. I think there is a fantastic future ahead for the club and hopefully for me as well. I think Spurs have fantastic players, a fantastic manager, a fantastic setup, and I feel lucky and proud to be a part of it. I want to give my everything, but I also want to learn a lot. I want to be better and what was very important for me is that I wanted to be at a club where I could see myself for many years and Tottenham was just the one. So I'm very happy and proud to be here. The leaders and the players that we have world class and also the coach world class. So again, to learn from them, to play with them and to see how they behave is a dream. And it is also something that you have to learn and get excited about. And I am a lot. There is more to the interview, so please do visit the official Tottenham Hotspur YouTube channel for uh, the interview. But I must read this bit out. He said, I became a very good player at Southampton, but I want to become an even better player. And honestly, there is no better place with the coach, the people at the top, the players. And now all I have seen of the training ground and the system, there is no better place to try and become a world class player. 
Another official announcement by Tottenham Hotspur Football Club just after 6pm this evening. It said, we have reached an agreement with Southampton for the permanent transfer of Carl Walker-Peters. A product of our academy system, fullback Carl Walker-Peters has made 24 first-team appearances for us, scoring once before joining the Saints on loan for the second half of the 2019-2020 season, where he played a further 10 times in the Premier League. We wish Carl well for the future. Earlier today, it was announced on a few websites that Tottenham have three pre-season fixtures coming up ahead of the 2020-2021 season. Online, it states that Tottenham's first pre-season fixture is against Ipswich Town at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on Saturday the 22nd of August. That is just 11 days away. Um, six days later, it, again, it's got it down as a home fixture, but these could change. It's got Tottenham playing Reading on the 28th of August, and then the very next day, Tottenham against Birmingham on Saturday the 29th of August. A report out today from the Daily Star and they are stating that Newcastle are lining up Tottenham star Ryan Sessegnon as Steve Bruce eyes British transfers. Newcastle United boss Steve Bruce knows that he is having to work under a tight transfer budget this summer and he's looking at the loan market to bring in reinforcements. It then states the 20-year-old has failed to fully break into Tottenham's first team since joining from Fulham for £25 million last summer. And reports suggested last week that both Ajax and Fulham, his former club, wanted to take Ryan Session on loan for next season. So many clubs are lining up for the youngster. A little bit more on Ryan Sessegnon. Um, a report has come out today from the Evening Standard and it states that Fulham Vice Chairman and Director of Football, Tony Khan, says the club are not interested in re-signing Ryan Sessegnon on loan from Tottenham. Khan has actually been very direct about Sessegnon and said, I'm not interested. Ryan already played for us in the Premier League and he didn't do enough to keep us there. I can't be in the business of developing other people's players. I expect the squad to be very similar to the one that got promoted. We will not be spending £100 million again. A report out today from the Football Insider. They have been talking to former Tottenham and England goalkeeper Paul Robinson and he believes that there will be many Tottenham players leaving the club this summer. He said, I've always said this is Jose starting to shuffle his pack. We've known about the financial implications that Spurs have suffered in this lockdown period and economic climate. It was always going to be, if players were coming in, players were going to have to leave. This is the first one in. This is Jose moulding his squad, moulding a side for what he wants next year. And it'll be interesting to see who he doesn't want. We've seen Carl Walker-Peters go in the opposite direction. He's one that's surplus to requirements, and that's part funded by the Hoybier deal. It seems a bit of good business. This is Jose Mourinho at his best, and he's going to have to work very hard with his scouting network if his budget isn't going to be the size he wants because his squad is going to be very unbalanced. It's him making his own changes and his own assault on the squad, if you like. I suspect we will see quite a few players leaving. Today has been a very busy day for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Another official announcement earlier today. It states that TJ Yoma has signed a new contract with the club until 2023 and has joined Lincoln City on loan for the 2020-2021 season. The 20-year-old defender, a product of our academy system, returns to Lincoln City for a second spell, having spent the second half of the curtailed 2019-2020 campaign on loan at the League One side. TJ made his first team debut for us in the FA Cup third round tie at Tranmere Rovers back in January 2019. A report out today from the Football Insider. They have been talking to former Sunderland striker Kevin Phillips and he believes now that Tottenham has signed Pierre-Emil Hoybier that Tangi Undombele may be going out of the door at Spurs this summer. Kevin Phillips said, I think that there will be at least one midfielder leaving. You need a decent squad in the Premier League, but it is difficult to keep everyone on side. When Hoybier comes in, somebody will leave. 
I said that Ondombele might come good this year, but reading between the lines, he could be the one that is sacrificed and moved on, even though he has been there for just a short period. Mourinho clearly likes Hoybier. He has been pursuing him for a while. So once he gets him through the door, you would expect him to play a huge part in Tottenham season next year and somebody will have to drop out. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything that I've spoken about in today's video, particularly the signing of Pierre-Emil Hoybier. Please do let me know what you think about him joining Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Stay safe and well. I'll see you tomorrow for some more Tottenham news. Come on, you Spurs. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you like the shirt I've been wearing in today's video, you can order one of these shirts and many, many more from toffs.com. You can also get in touch with them by email. It is inquiries at toffs.com. All of the links are um, in the description box below this video. Um, they have an absolutely superb range of retro Tottenham shirts, so don't miss out.